In this example, we'll take a look at solving Venn diagrams when we have the unions of the individual pieces, not necessarily the intersections, which is usually a little bit easier. Uh, the way to think about this one is when, when we work with intersections, when we have A intersect, B, etc., we usually start at the inside and work our way out to the edges. And when we've got the unions like we do in this problem, we're going to start on the outside and work our way in. So the first thing I'm going to make a note of, and it's usually starting these that gives people such a hard time, is that this part right here, uh, at the number of things in A union B union C is 35, well, that's that's all of this. This is basically everything inside the circles total is 35. But if I look at just one of the other unions, and I think I'll choose the uh, number of things in A union B, well, A union B is everything in these two circles. And once I've looked at those, there's really only one area left, and that's that little section right at the bottom. So if the green part has 33 and the yellow part has 35, then the difference between them must have the other remaining two. So that's the 33 minus the 35. And then we can use a similar logic to find all three of the outer pieces. So let me just get rid of that excess color there. And now if we go back to the same idea, if we have 35 in the entire thing, but uh, the number of things in A and C, or A union C is 28, then that means that the things that are left over, basically out in this area here, that's everything outside of A union C, uh, that would be the rest of them. So if A union C is 28, and the whole thing is 35, then this part here is the difference between them, 35 minus 28, which is seven. Same logic for the last part for A, we take everything and subtract off B union C, so 35 minus 32 gives us three. Okay, so we're getting pretty close here. Now we have to find out how to do the next three pieces. So we're gonna use a similar logic to the one we just used, and I'm gonna go back to colors again. Okay, so if I take a look at, again, actually, let me get rid of the colored things down here, just so I can see it a little bit more clearly. If we take a look at the things, uh, for instance, A union B is 33. Well, A union B is that area. And then what I can do is look at one of the singles, and I'm going to choose to look at, I guess, A. The number of things in A is 18. Well, that means that the number of things in that circle is 18. So if there's 33 things in the yellow, but 18 of them are in the green, the difference between those, 33 minus 18, must be the uh, part left in, in the area that's only yellow. So 33 minus 18 is 15. However, 15 is both this area that had the seven in it plus this area together. So if it's 15 for the both of them, this one must be eight. So the two of them total 17. Now I'll get rid of the colors again, and we'll use the same logic to find, let's say, this piece at the top. This piece at the top is going to be um, everything in A and C. So actually, you know what? Let's pull out the colors again one more time everything in A and C, come on, color change, everything in A and C is here, and that's 28, but we know that the stuff within C, the stuff within C is 20, so that means that these areas are 20, and from that we should be able to make the conclusion that uh, the yellow part, the part that's only yellow, not the part that's shaded both yellow and green, but the part that's only yellow is going to be the yellow part, 28, the entire yellow part, 28, minus the 20, which is the green, and that gives me eight, but we've already accounted for three right there, so to total eight, we need five more. And then finally, I think we can do the last one, 
if we take a look at B and C together, I'm going to try and get you to visualize this without the colors this time. If we take a look at B and C, B and C together um, have a total of 32. And just B has a total of 26. So the difference between those is six. So that means that there's going to be six between these two areas because those are in C outside of B. If they have to total six, this one is four. And now that we're there, we know that there are 18 things in A. And if I look inside of A, I already have three plus five is eight, plus four is 12. And if I need to total 18, that must be six more. And now we can do a quick double check. Uh, we should have 26 in B. Well, that's seven plus eight is 15, plus five is 20, plus the middle is 26. And then our four numbers inside of C should total 20. We have four plus six is 10, plus eight is 18, plus two is 20. So it seems to work. So that's how to approach these ones with unions. Start by looking at the entire thing, in this case, the 35, and then taking away one of the doubles and seeing what's left in one of these pieces, the pieces that's this shape. So start by figuring those out first. Once you're done that, do these ones. And then once you're done that, do the center pieces. And you're done.